everyone this is Key Marie. I'm back for another video today um, the video is a, a little different I am doing a video on my sinking funds and I actually will be stuffing envelopes today so if you're new to my channel and or you have never heard of sinking funds I do have a video on my channel with more details in regards to sinking funds it explains what sinking funds are, how I set my sinking funds up, and also about um, my cash envelopes. And if you are, if you are wondering what cash envelopes are, they are basically envelopes. So, yes, um, I have a. Um, video on my channel on how I made my cash envelopes. That's also on my channel. Um, I will link the the two videos in the description box below just so you can reference that. So um, just to give you a quick a quick overview of sinking funds. Sinking funds is basically it's um, funds you're putting dollars basically each bill each dollar has a name to it so say for example you get your check you pay you're paying your bills and then you have um your main bills a lot of people pay their bills online so um so you got that taken care of but you have groceries you have expenses either it be you know lunch for work um gifts birthday gifts um things with your kids things like that so you can actually take money and put towards each thing okay so this is basically what it is um so with mine for example i have um, a list of sinking funds i have things like car vacation christmas groceries summer fun gifts things like that okay and then i have how much i am um putting towards that item or that um bill or that activity and then how much i will have at the end of the month okay um, then I just have like, uh, I know this setup is kind of different because I haven't done one of these videos in a while. So the setup is kind of different. I couldn't get it quite right, but, um, I'm sure I'll, I'll be doing more videos, um, like this. So, um, and then I just have a motivation little sticker there. It says never spend your money before you have earned it. And that was by the quote is by Thomas Jefferson. So I have um, how much my month end would be for each item. And then I also have like a cheat sheet right here um, when I'm going to get the money for um, either it be week. Well, I get I do my things weekly and I have a cheat sheet like how many bills I need, like how many 20s do I need? How many 10s do I need? I have that here. Um, just for quick reference. So, and I'm going to go ahead and scoot that here. I have all my money set up now here. I have the ones, fives, and twenties. So usually I, um, usually I would have more bills here, but, um, you know, we're going through this, um, pandemic and like everyone's inside and a lot of people have been affected by this. Either it'd be, you know, personally like far sick or lost of job or you know things like that and for me unfortunately um I was furloughed from my job meaning kind of laid off but the thing is I still have a job it's just that when all this is over with and then business start to come back then I'll be able to go back to work um just the industry that I work in is basically um we the, the main business is dealing with people. <laughs> so um, the fact that we have to be in small groups and we have to do social distancing, things like that, uh, I am not able to work at this time. So um, I did kind of, I didn't do as many sinking fund lists that I have here, but I did um, want to show you guys, um, and this is just for an example, just for, um, just to show you um, basically what I've, um, and this is just a quick reference to kind of give you an idea of what I do. So um, with my sinking funds. So here I have, I um, hope you guys can see this. Here I have my, um, it's kind of like a folder, but, um, and I have all my sinking funds here. And this, um, I, <laughs> 
I had a small, small um, career or experience with couponing, but that, you know, yeah, it didn't last that long. So I decided to make this where I hold all of my cash envelopes. Okay. So, um, and with my cash envelopes, um, like I have a video up to on my channel, as I stated, how to create these um, cash envelopes. So basically it's just an envelope, just almost like a deposit envelope or what you may get at the bank. Um, I made it like this and also I did a label, so you guys can see. I did label each tab of what is what in this folder, okay? All right, so let's get started. So as I stated, I will not be um, doing all of them right now, just some of them. So let's get started. Um, so I wanted, so I have car on here. So $40 per a week for car. So what I'll do is I'll go in the envelope, pull out my car envelope. And what I'm gonna do is, oh, sorry, my money got a little messed up. I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. And I'm going to get $20 and stuff it in the envelope for car. So I got that taken care of. And then I'm going to put it back. And so with car, this is not for car insurance or anything, um, not car insurance. This is not for car, car insurance. We pay that online. So this is for like car maintenance. So say for example, car wash, or you know, with cars, there's always maintenance. Um, like you, a lot of times it's unexpected <laughs> maintenance. So say for example, something went wrong, you need new brakes or whatever. What I'll do is I'll pick up the car envelope and see how much money we have in there. And that is what I use towards that maintenance. Um, for example, um, not last year, maybe two years ago, um, my husband, his truck, there was some unexpected maintenance that needed to be done. And by me doing this weekly, putting this $40 towards it, he actually did not, we did not have to pull any money from out of our account at that time to cover that. We had enough in our envelope to take care of that, that we had cash. Um, available to cover the expenses of that um, to, ex uh, the, to cover that expense so this is why I do this and I love doing this um, sinking funds I love doing it because it comes in handy I've actually you know and in, in, I actually see what it can do you know what I'm saying like what's the benefit of it so I absolutely love doing this so the next thing I have is vacation so you know, nobody's going anywhere right now, but I still want to put money towards vacation because, um, you know, we may not, I may not be able to save within a whole year how much it'll be for a whole vacation because I'm only um, putting um, f actually $40 towards vacation weekly. And um, so, you know, that may not cover a whole vacation, but it could be, you know, maybe for the rental car or maybe it would be um, a few uh, uh, pay for a few nights of um, in the hotel room. Um, I know last year I was putting money towards vacation and um, we actually took um, a cruise and um, that money didn't go towards the cru cruise vacation. Uh, the vacation, but what it did was, um, we were able to pay, pay on some excursions. So that's what it did or spending money for our vacation. So that's pretty much what it did for us, how it came in handy. So I'm going to take out my vacation envelope and this is my vacation envelope. Um, I did get like different things that's, um, I did make all my, um, uh, cash envelopes kind of Theme related <laughs> so it's easy for me to identify um, I know I have the tabs on here too but it's just easy for me to identify too so this is my um, my um, vacation one so it says $40 towards vacation so I'm gonna get $20 and have money in here already of course 
so. And I'm going to put that back. Hope you guys can see. I'm gonna put that back in there. Okay, then I'm going to, um, I also have for Christmas, I have, um, let me get my Christmas envelope out. And I have just like a candy cane. And I'm going to put $18 towards that. And again, um, this is for example, um, I do stuff my envelopes you know, each week, but this is for example. And plus, I, as I stated, I've um, kind of condensed my list a little bit just because I am currently not working. So I kind of want to make sure I'm putting money towards things that I really think would that I really need the money towards, you know, so, um, so, uh, $18, so I'll need that, 10, 10, dollars. 18, so I have $18 here, and this is, this will go towards Christmas, so this will help when it comes December or November, whenever we start shopping, this will help because we already have the money, um, some money towards it. So we won't have that big chunk to come out. Cause I, you know, Christmas when I was young, I loved Christmas. I really did. But as an adult, you know, when you get kids, it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's really expensive. <laughs> so, um, so instead of it being a burden, like far as like, oh, we got to buy gifts and different things like that. This has doing sinking funds each week has helped me so much. I just not can, I cannot stress that enough. It helps so much just because I don't have to stress and have this big chunk of money come out because we're buying gifts like crazy. And then we're like broke going into the new year because we just spent so much money, you know, for Christmas. So. I don't know when we'll be able to um, be allowed, you know, when this lockdown will be over with, but um, I still want to be able to keep some stuff for summer fun so we can at least enjoy ourselves. Um, and when for summer fun, like the last few years, like we love going to festivals. So like we would use the money and like go to different festivals or we have um, movie night at the theater or movie day or um, just different activities like this can help with that. So um, that's why I'm still devoting my money to that. Then next one we have is, um, okay, my son Elijah. So um, for this, let me pull Elijah's um, envelope out. And with my son, we would use this money towards like um, he's in a lot of sports, so we have, um, sport fees and stuff like that. So we'll use that, the money we have, um, in here and devote it to that. Um, or like, say for example, um, he has a field trip or something, um, for school, we'll do that. But mostly for the last few years, we've been using it for, um, different sports fees. So for that, um, I've allowed it, uh, let me see. I think it was $13, uh, yeah. Two tens. Let's stuff that in his envelope. He has the superhero theme envelope. That's what he loves. <laughs> okay. And then um, for my daughter, um, I also have $13 going towards her sinking fund. And with her, um, my daughter is only one. So we may use this money towards um, diapers, wipes, um, stuff like that. Because right now she's not into any sports or anything. She doesn't have any... Um, expenses or anything as far as like you know um child care but um we just do that um we already we you know have that set up um online so thirteen dollars is on okay thirteen dollars 
And then I'm just gonna go in here and get her envelope, which is this. I've even put some, um, like her birthday was in September and um, she received um, some money for her birthday. So I actually added that to her sinking funds. Um, you know, and even like if I want to get, you know, it was time for her to get clothes. I can use this money to buy clothes, but um, most, but most of the time I use it just strictly for um, diapers and wipes. And um, when I started her fund when I was pregnant with her, um, when I found out I was pregnant with her, I just went ahead and added, um, made an envelope for her, and um, even. This is even before I knew she was going to be a girl. Um, and I started putting money towards it. And we were able to buy all of our large items. And I have um, my hair, $20. I'm not getting my hair done anytime soon. But I do still put money towards it. Um, so I can use that money and I don't have to get it. Um, I don't have to go into when it's time for me to get my hair done i don't have to go into the account to get any odds because you just use what's in here okay then i was and birthdays and that's what i have for this and um this is for like if some uh like if we have to buy a gift for um like a family member or a co-worker or something well not really a co-worker like a friend or something we will use that then I have one for, um, like I have my own personal one. And um, I really use this for lunch. Um, my husband has one, um, has one for um, his lunch, which I don't know where it's at. I think he may have taken his out. Um, then I have one for our, um, my husband and son haircut. Um, they get haircuts often, so um, I put money in there towards towards that, and that's what they use when they go to the barber shop. Then I also have one for my ties, and this is the one I have for my ties, the envelope I have for my ties, and I put it in here. And um, then when it's time for me to pay, I'll do that. But since we are on lockdown and quarantine, I've been doing all of my ties online, so I don't um, put anything towards it yet. And, but there is one other thing I want to show you guys before I um, sign out. Um, with the sink, I have the sinking funds that I do on a regular basis, but I also, in my planner, I have like a financial um, part of the planner. And what I've been doing um, I did this last year for the first time and I kind of started with it, but kind of kind of drifted off and wasn't able to keep it up. So I'm starting again this year, but it did help last year. It really did help last year. So I'm doing the um, 52 week money saving challenge. Um, last year was good. Um, and if I wouldn't have stopped, I would have um got the year end goal which they're saying like each like pretty much each week you have a certain amount you need to save and then it tells you the balance of how much you should have and then by the end of the year you should have one thousand three hundred and seventy eight dollars so last year I, I did this for a while and then I dropped off wasn't you know contributing money to this and then I started back trying to play catch up but it helped though because all that money I was able to put into our savings to build up our savings account. So what I do is um, weekly, each week I put this amount. Most of the time lately I've been putting more than what it says here. Um, just like right now it says um, $15 um, and then like I had a 20 on me. So I just went ahead and put the 20 in instead of the $15. But what I do is, let me show you, in my planner each month... I made some envelopes like for March so I have March right here and it just says thank you on there but because at first I started this and said it was gonna be to myself um, like personal and like put a money a little money in here and it, it'll be towards for me like my hair or if I wanted to get a massage or something like that it's like kind of like thank you like I'm paying myself but I decided you know what I'm gonna put it towards family savings and I'm 
between my, my husband and, and myself, I am, um, I'm the one that's better with saving. So <laughs> that's what I've been doing. And, um, so each month or each, I'm sorry, each week I put the amount they say to put on in the envelope and I keep it in here. And then when the month is over with, then I, I tape it closed and then, um, just like with, I did that for March and you know, here we go. Then for January, I did it and I taped the clothes. You see? So I have all the money in there. So, um, last year what I did was each, each, uh, month I took all the money that was in the envelope and went ahead and deposit into our savings account. Um, but I have not had a chance to do it. So I've just been keeping it in here. Nobody knows it's here. Uh, um, my husband doesn't know so you know and I keep my planner um, pretty much at home um, I pretty much keep my planner at home but when I go uh, I work from home a lot too so you know I can just bring it to my wherever I'm working at at the time like um, in the basement or whatever so and that's what I do and eventually I'll go ahead and put that money towards um, in the savings account but I kind of want to see everything how you know I just really want to keep this up so having these um, envelopes and what I did how I made these envelopes I just got like um, don't you know the um, what is it the like at the dollar I actually went to Dollar Tree and they had envelopes with um, like invitations but um, these were thank you cards that's what it was so I just cut the thank you card the front part out and put it on the envelope that came with it and I labeled each envelope with the month and um, so I put the money in there each week and when April was done then I'm gonna go ahead and take this up and put it back in my in my binder I'm sorry in my planner and then I go ahead and check it off so yeah, so I just want to be able to keep that up and you know, it's, it's fun to me. Saving money is fun to me just because you, you just don't realize how much you can actually save. You know what I mean? If you just put your mind to it and have a goal. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I also want to talk to you guys, but I mean, I hope this has, um, this would be helpful to someone. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments. See you guys later. Please be safe and see you guys later.